hello and welcome back to a new Unreal engine for you video and today's lesson is all about split screen for some people split screen is just an option that you can enable and disable from the project settings but what if you need to change this later during the game what i mean the people know that in the project settings here if you come to the maps and mods there is a whole section or little section uh, called uh, split screen and within this section it just enable or disable split screen if you are two players so it's split vertical or horizontal and if you are three players there is a player of those three will have uh, an advantage of a full half of the screen so his half would be on the top or on the bottom so now ev even though I'm using uh, use split screen and I hit play everything seems fine because basically it's single player game but let's just make it quickly a multiplayer game let's make it a three players game so I can come here from uh, blueprint and let's come to the game mode and open this blueprint and come here to the event graph event we can play and create player and here you have a value for the controller ID so for example if you are going to use like let's say if, if you are going to add the player number one player number two player number three but minus one uh, remember that zero means the player number one one means the player number two it's something programmers know but if you are more familiar with blueprints you probably don't know this and minus one means here that it will find any available player and will assign this to it so rather than using a for loop or any complicated way to create three players I'll just make sure to add two more players with this primitive way just add a player and then add another player and let's save so when I hit play I have now three players this this player, player 1, have all the, the top parts for him and player 2 and player 3 are running here. Mm -hmm. So, this is actually what we have here. So, if you if you sit here, the, in 3 players we have a favor button. So, when you come here, we have the button for this third player. Mm -hmm. But anyways, now we have split screen. But, if we build the game and we start running the game the menus will have split screen everything in the game will have split screen but if you played any any multiplayer local multiplayer game with split screen support like let's say uh, a Nintendo game let's say a uh, uh, Mario Kart or let's say uh, Sonic Cars or whatever cars game from for multiplayer for the God's sake you have a full screen one screen that where you can go through the menus cinematic and options and settings but once the game starts you have this multiplayer split screen so I don't want to waste the time but if we build now and we run the game we will have this but imagine that we have a menu even the menu will have a split screen because we define as a project to run split screen so what if we want to have one map without split screen another map have a split screen and when we are about to run a cinematic during a, a map that have split screen we want to turn off the split screen during cinematic and then turn it on again when cinematic is done so i mean we need to manipulate we need to change the state of split screen we need to change this value during the game so unfortunately this is something we cannot do uh, using blueprint if you are using c++ with unreal engine so you probably know that or, or you probably hit this uh, this thing and, and you know how to do it but if you are using blueprint actually for now it's the time to change your blueprint project to make it a C++ project or at least a mixture between C++ and blueprint even if you don't know how to use C++ you can add this class and then it could be the only class in C++ in your game and you can keep building your game progress what I mean that if you are going to change your project to C++ you don't have to add all your features in C++. You can have all your project in Blueprint and this only little part in C++. So how to do this? So basically you'll add, uh, if you're not familiar with adding C++ to your project, so you can add new and come here new class or you can come here and add a uh, new class whatever posts are the same and I will create my class based on actor. And next, and let's call it something well, my project called split screen. Listen, let's call it uh, 
is play to screen mm, okay controller from 3L triple L so split screen controller and let's create this class and give it some time because it will be adding uh, the class and be converting your project and actually building the project from scratch because you don't have a C++ project for the game right now so give it some time so everything is fine almost initializing so everything almost is fine and we have now a C++ project for our split screen lesson project and we have a new class called uh, split screen controller and this is actually what we are going to use to control the split screen we turn it on off whenever we want so basically what we're going to do is very simple we are going to add one single function uh, so let's let's uh, uh, let's make it a uh, static void and let's call it uh, on uh, it's not going to be disabled or going to be enabled uh, it's something in between let's call it uh, on toggle split screen and this function will have uh, two parameters passed to it so we'll have uh, an actor pointer and let's call it uh, context context yeah right and let's have a pool which is we want to enable or disable and let's call it uh, status or it's stuck with yeah status is good I think uh, sorry <laughs> this is a definition uh, oh, declaration declaration and yeah that's it ah oh, one more thing we need to call this from blueprint actually because you you are not using C++, you are, you, you, are, you are just using Blueprint and you want to call something from C++. So we are going to add some meta here. Uh, U function. U function. Yeah, it should be okay. Okay. Let's add a Blueprint callable. And let's give it a category. Category. Uh, let's make the category split screen or something. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, actually, that's it. Uh, we just now need to make the body for it. So, let's come here, I'll just cover it, and let's come here. Void is split screen controller and the method and actor pointer context and a boolean which is basically p status and now what we're going to do we're going to check for the context if context what we're going to do so context it has its pointer. Uh, let's get wallet. I don't know why ah oh, compilation is not working. Yeah, it's still it's still parsing here. So uh, you probably when you when you start typing, uh, parsing might be done. My computer is a little slow right now. So if you're parsing done, so whenever you hit uh, dot or the arrow so you will have like a list to choose from and it might be easier for you to make sure that you are not typing you have not you are not doing any type of mistakes or something so yeah uh i'll get uh i'll get the wallet and then uh, as far as i remember we get a uh, game viewport game viewport yeah get game viewport and finally uh, disable split screen overwrite and we want it enabled or disabled I don't know let's just put the past parameters and actually that's it so you can compile from here or you can come here and do a compile give it a little time it will be fast we don't have too much changes just one header file one source file 
for too much. Okay, it's complete and we have no errors. Good. So, if we play, we have split screen. Nothing be changed. Mm -hmm. So, we are going to create paste. If you come here, we have a C++ classes now. We have this folder does not exist before, but we can mm -hmm. use this class which we created. This is this is actually if you have no idea what C++ was, but this is actually this. So this C++ class is just two files, header and source files. This is how C++ works. And this header and source file is actually this thing. So we can use this one and let's create a blueprint based on this one. And uh, let's put it just in the content folder, root folder. You can put it anywhere, but just for clarity right now. And let's call it, oh, okay, my space screen controller is fine. So let's create one and it just opened so here is my split screen controller i just put it here so i can see it you can give it an icon icon or something but yeah we just save and let's come here and even graph i will just call the method we already made if you want if you not remembering what was the name for the method okay we have set here something called uh category this is why i added category here Category split screen, which means when we right click here, we search for the word split screen here and we find on toggle split screen. And we just connect this and let's set it's disabled. So when the game starts, it will disable the split screen. Oh, yeah, we still need to add context here. So let's add uh, this reference to this blueprint because actually this is a blueprint pointer and let's save and we can we hit play oh yeah it's still we still have it here because the function we call is called on disable so now we say on disable no not disable so yeah so that's true means we are going to actually disable the disable which means enable on disable so we hit play so we have three players we have a uh, split screen enabled here but when we hit play, we still have the three players like one screen. And then if we come here and we uncheck this, hit play, we have three. Actually, mm -hmm. if you're wondering how to do it through uh, in, in the middle of, of, of the level or something, you can create this like controlled by UI. When you hit play, while you are in the menus, the thing is like this. And when you hit play, it's like this. So this one thing. Uh, if you want to see quickly how it works, so let's say uh, when we hit G and when we hit H. So when we hit G, let's just up cut this from here. When we hit G, keep it as is. When we hit H, just make it one screen. So we play here. When we hit H, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you cannot, uh, we are not getting any inputs from here. So we can come to the class defaults and receive inputs from player zero, and that should be okay. So when we come here again and we hit H, one screen, and we hit G, split screen, and we hit H, one screen, G, split screen. So this is how you can control having split screen or not having split screen but you have to keep in mind your project should be compiled with use split screen regardless how many levels you will have with split screen even your game have one level one single mission that will support split screen so your project should use split screen and this is how actually you can change this runtime hope it helps thank you bye